Hey there guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, welcome to my second video of the day on Moshi Monsters Biography. So, definitely a big one to handle. And this time, we're taking a look at our fifth epic Mosh Link here on the show. Hey, well, get ready. It's about to change. Right now. First, Big Bad Bill. Then Blingo. And then Bobby Seesaw. And then Captain Squirk. Now, we're going to take a look at another epic Mosh Link here on the show. It's another epic biography, so be prepared for this. Put your, keep your hands on inside of you at all types. Let's get started. Are you ready? Let's do it. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated during today's biography. And keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs on, on your screens at all times. And please, watch your children for your own, for your own safety. Thank you. And now, enjoy, enjoy today's biography, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get started. Here we go with episode 65, and this time we are taking a look at Cherry Bob out of the Noisy set. The third one to come out of that set. So, I believe this is going to be a big episode. You're not going to miss out on so if you're ready, let's begin. For those of you who have not seen our last episode, where it was about the Silver Moshley out of the Woody set, which was Chico, the link will be on the top right corner of the screen. You can go watch it right now. But now, let's not waste any more time here. Let's get started. All right, so who is Cherry Bomb? Cherry Bob, the baby boomer, is a rare Moshley in the Noisy set and Moshi Monsters. They are a red bomb who rarely explodes. Their, their fuse is only a crackle when they feel excited. So... That's pretty much it. Going to the character set. Name is Cherry Bob. Set Noises. Number is 075. Remember that? 075 species is Baby Boomer. Rarity is rare. Released on May 26, 2011. And the figure is in Series 2. So that's pretty much it. And Moshi Combination. Not applicable because there is no Moshi Combination for Cherry Bomb. But now let's get to the biography of the character. Quick! Stick your fingers in your ears. The Baby Boomers are here. But don't panic. These clockwork Moshlings rarely go boom. The reason they're so noisy is because their fuses fizz and crackle whenever they're excited. <laughs> All right, over in the Clutter's Guide. Stick your fingers in your ears. The baby boomers are here, but don't panic. These clockwork monsterlings rarely go boom. The, the the reason they're so noisy is because their fuses fizz and crackle whenever they're, whenever they're excited. I found I, I found this out the hard way when I was exploring the candy cane caves and tried to entice a baby boomer out from its from his hidey hole with a bowl of kaboomalot custard. Big mistake, it, it, because it got so excited. It, it, it's so, it's, fizz, it's fizzly fuse, spark, and explosion. My eyebrows have never been the same. Pssst. Oh, God, gosh. Habitat, baby boomers can pop up anywhere. Yikes, but often fizzle around Kaboom Canyon. Personality, sparky, bombastic, loud. Likes bangers and crash with dynamite sauce and dislikes buckets of water with buckets and candle snuffers ouch that's gonna hurt in the character encyclopedia main boom if you don't like if you don't like loud noises then baby boomers like cherry bomb are probably not the moshlings for you these sparkly spherical critters the critters are easily excited when that happens the crack and fizzle of their fuses is loud enough to blow the wax out of any monster's airy ears fizz bang Cherry Bomb and the other baby boomers snap and crackle all over the city. Any Moshi who doesn't want these sizzling noises fizzle, fizzling, fizzing in their face should be ready with a cooling bucket of water. They should also avoid cooking cupendous nosh like bangers with dynamite sauce. One snip and baby boomers will be banging out, uh, banging down their door. Bubbly over, Kaboom Canyon, where baby boomers love to hang out together. Echoes with their laughter and booby voices. These monsters are so bubbly, it's hard not to get caught up in their excitement. Whoa. Uh, moving on to the data file. Moshi type, noisy, set species of baby boomer, habitat, kaboom canyon, noisy pals are boomer, judder, and betty. And, and, and for the side notes, baby boomers rarely go boom. So that's pretty much it. And about, of course, I talked about... <laughs> Of course, I talked about Betty on episode 25, and I and I already did, um, wasn't that ready to, oh yeah, I did Boomer on episode 43, so again, so again, Betty was on episode 25, Boomer was on episode 43, if you haven't seen both of these episodes, please go check them out right now. As for Jenner, I will talk about him in a future episode, so please keep an eye out for that when it comes out. But anyways, moving over to the Moshipedia. Quick, stick your fingers in your ears, and... The baby boomers are here, but don't panic. These clockwork monsters rarely go boom. The reason they're so noisy is because their fuse is fizz and crackle whenever they're excited. Zzzz. Oh, 
boy. In the official Contable Figures Guide, not surprisingly, a baby boomer's food is bangers and crash with dynamite sauce. They chow down on this in Kaboo Canyon, but can pop up anywhere with their fuses fizzing away. There's no cause for panic though. They might be noisy, but they don't explode very often. All that din is just their fuses fizzing and crackling whenever they get excited. Oh my gosh. Um, and over in Moshi Rescue, Cherry Bob. Hi there, I'm Cherry Bob. Please come and rescue me from level 75. If you don't like loud noises, then we then we probably won't be besties. I'm a sparkly spherical critter with the loudest crackle and fizz you'll ever hear. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Moshling Rescue, hashtag Moshling, hashtag Rescue, hashtag Rescuer, hashtag Cherry Bomb. Pretty much it. Let's move over to the fiction. Occupation? None. He has no occupation. He defeated in Candy Catastrophe and his relationships include Sweet Tooth and Pokito. Oh, well, who I'm going to talk about both of them in future episodes of Moshi Monsters Biography. Keep an eye out for those when he comes out. Um, as Super Moshi's in... As Super Moshi is in their gloopy disguise, dressed as a ragged large glump, Cherry Bomb is naturally assumes them to be with Clunk just after successfully convincing Mustachio that Super Moshi is with Clunk. Cherry Bomb needs to conv needs convincing that Super Moshi slash Clump is with the Super Moshis. Cherry Bomb knows where the Super Moshi HQ is located. Knows the current many main threat that's a strange glove. No sweet tooth is poisoning the candy that they uh, hypnotize the rokers. That the goo contains the poisoning. How to destroy the glumps and where sweet tooth's lair is found deep within the caves. Cherry Bomb has access to a small tunnel structure in which they can hide and lets them travel from place to place. Faster than Super Boshi, supposedly Cherry Bomb observed the happenings and waited for help to arrive or planned to get help but feared for their own safety. They helped Super Boshi through the caves by giving them advice. Cherry Bomb does not come out of the wall upon seeing Sweet Tooth's Hypnoblaster as they fear their tendency to explode. This gave Super Boshi the insight that Cherry Bomb can be weaponized, disregarding why Cherry Bomb would like to uh, avoid it and ask them to go out. Super Boshi tricks Sweet Tooth into blasting Cherry Bob instead of Super Boshi and the explosion makes Sweet Tooth's throne collapse. Cherry Bob has no further uh, text and it's automatically adopted, uh, adopted for the zoo. Perhaps Super Boshi knew baby boopers regenerate and that Cherry Bomb had nothing to worry about uh, upon exploding. Uh, wow! A rare Cherry Bob! says Sweet Tooth. Poquito is very fond of Cherry Bomb. In Big Top Ballyhoo, Poquito requests to have on of those Cherry Bomb plushies from the fun fair shop in return of granting Super Boshi access to the Big Ten. He's just so explosive with power, said Poquito from Big Top Ballyhoo. In Music Island, in Music Island missions, Clock Strikes Back. Poquito demands a total of six plushies, one per Super Boshi. He eventually only gets five of them, but not but not point is that, uh, but not point is made of it, um, of me at that. Attempting to give more than one plushie to Poquito in the mission, as you can win unlimited, will lead him to stay one is plenty. One of the plushies at the fun fair is the real cherry bomb sitting between them. We'll pulling them out will make as that will make ask Super Boshi ask what they are doing there. There is no response or interaction with Cherry Bomb, and they remain standing in front of the shop. You 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 later need you later need them to be to be the fuse and fuel for the canyon. Pokito suggested to launch the to launch himself into Candy the Clown, which of course is also known as Sweet Tooth. The cherry bomb plushie is the is the is the second best thing about the circus after me. Pokito continued, jumping up from the ground and striking poses in front of the supers. So strong, so red, so explosive," said Pokito from Clock Strikes Back. And cherry bomb, uh, in cherry bomb makes a cameo appearance in season two, mission seven, Masters of the Sweetiverse, as a mascot on an energy drink, explode energy by. Mucosade, which Super Moshi uses to fuel a jet engine in Splutnik's engine room. And of course, the uh, the explode energy can is seen on your left side of the screen. You can, you're seeing it right here, right now. So keep your eye out for that. 
you know, you're, you're seeing it right now. Uh, the item in, is inside Splendix vending machine and needs to be paid for, with for with a Rhapsody 2 credit, which are like around the room. And of course, yes, I'll talk about Splendix in a future episode, so please stay tuned to the channel. I'll let you know when it comes out. Uh, one could argue that baby boomers are, na are native on other planets that does appear on an intergalactic beverage. But it is also possible Splendic obtained it somewhere on Music Island, as he did so for the jet engine. In the Twistmas artwork of the Advent Calendar, Cherry Bob attempts to make out with a red glittery bobble. The Twistmas figure is their face being a green striped bobble with a hanger instead of a fuse. So, yeah, pretty much shit. Let's go to the relationships. Starting with Sweet Tooth, which I'll talk, who I'll talk, who I'm going to talk about in a future episode. Uh, Cherry Bomb is tied to Sweet Tooth narratively, but do not in but do not interaction per se. Cherry Bomb knows Sweet Tooth is bad news, and Sweet Tooth knows Cherry Bomb is a rare mosh link. In uh, Candy Catastrophe, Cherry Bomb is hit by Sweet Tooth's Hypnoblaster Blast, which causes them to explode, which leaves Sweet Tooth's own made uh, the which means Oh, oh, oh McCanny, thrown to uh, thrown to collapse, and for them to drop into the jam river. Oh no! Uh, in Big Time Battle of Who, Cherry Bomb is diffused at to uh, is, is diffused and fueled to the canyon used to launch Bokito into Sweet Tooth to reveal them to the public. Later on in Katsuma Unleashed, Sweet Tooth as ro ro robot Cherry Bombs to fight for them in their boss battle. Where they, where they again sit upon a throne, triggering these robot cherry bobs to explode close to said throne will make it collapse and rain in another defeat. So, yeah, pretty much it. All I gotta say right here. Yeah, it's good. And finally, over, uh, and meanwhile, for Poquito, Poquito voiced to, to like cherry bomb because they are powerfully explosive, but only did so towards Super Boshi to explain why he would want to plush. Why he would want a plush toy in Cherry Bomb's depiction, while while Poquito, Bernie, and the real Cherry Bomb wait in front of the tent, the two are not shown to interact. And yes, speaking of Bernie, I talked about him on episode fifty-one of the series. If you haven't seen it, watch it right now. All right, over in, and finally we wrap it up with the design. Uh, cherry Bomb is a cherry red object uh, head with a metallic body supporting the head. Upon exploding. Only their eyes and body remain, but their head quickly reforms. They have their thick, expressive eyebrows and small, round, blush stickers on their cheeks. In animation, they are shown to have somewhat of a tick and do not close their two eyes at, at the same time. They sneakily look around before checking their fuse, not going off. Cherry Bob's animation shows pink flowers upon exploding. These flowers are likely... Supposed to depict cherry blossoms, creating a visual pun. In Bongo Colada, the game where you where you need to smash fruit with bongos to create Bongo Colada, you must avoid the, you, you must avoid to smash bombs. These bombs resemble cherry bomb and perhaps are and perhaps are are bodiless baby boomers. They look a lot more sinister with their dark purple colors. They're uneven eyes and grinning, e grinning evilly. As you, as you can see on your right side, as pictured on your right side of the screen, look closely. You're seeing it right now. The, that purple cherry bomb with no body. So that's pretty much it. And that's it for Cherry Bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! So let's get to the five bots and ready for the character. So Cherry Bomb is a character with uh, with, with lots of great with great experience and great power. I couldn't just say any much better than this, but Cherry Bomb is definitely one of the most iconic characters of all time. And another epic biography completed. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. And I'm so excited that Cherry Bob is, is here to stay. Therefore, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to rate Cherry Bob with a score of 10 out of 10. Perfect score. Yay! I can't believe it. A perfect score. 10 out of 10. He's perfect just the way he is. And I'm so excited that I'm so proud that Cherry Bob. It's definitely the best character for me. But wait, wait, but anyways, guys, that's my opinion. You can feel free to agree or disagree with this loading. You can see your page in the comments section down below. But guys, it's over. That's it for Cherry Bob. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a remain seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, hands on your screen until until the video comes to a complete stop. Once you uh, once the video ends, guys, all your personal vloggings, watch your head and step and walk out the front door. But thank you for watching. I uh, thank you so much for watching. I mean, guys, such yourself. I hope to see you on the next episode of. Moshi Monsters Biography.
we got another super boshi to take to take a look at. Yeah, last episode we took a look at. Uh, the, last episode we took a look at Chico. Next episode we're gonna take a look at Chester. That's right, uh, out of Splashy set. So this is gonna be a lot of fun, uh, and that'll be on episode sixty six. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you for episode sixty six very soon. Focusing on Chester, a super boshi coming out of the Splashy set. We'll see you guys there. Until then, because such is. Remind you to please leave a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notification button so you don't miss another new video for me. As we're on the road to 400 subscribers, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Abby Guys Sessions for Moshi Watchers by Angry. Like, favor, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. See you in another video. Later's.